Okay, so on February 22nd um, of 2016, I had a dream. Um, I was in the passenger seat of a pickup truck with my husband. My husband was driving. And um, we were in a grassy area, like a small small field, but it was surrounded by trees. So it was almost like we had to drive in a little road and we were in like nestled in these trees in a grassy area. And all around us were a bunch of parked cars and they weren't parked in any orderly way. And we were towards the center of this circle of parked cars. And I heard a noise and um, I thought it was a helicopter. And I thought, oh wow, that's kind of loud and it was sudden. So I tilted my head, and when I say I tilted my head, this was so close that as I'm sitting in the passenger seat, I literally had to turn my body, tipped my head perpendicular, or parallel to the floor actually, perpendicular to my body, but parallel to the floor, and look up and out the window to see my friend um, flying a helicopter, and this person does have a pilot's license. He has owned helicopters, but at that time had sold his helicopter. And he's kind of a a wild man. He um he's a little bit crazy. He likes to drive fast. He's a sweetheart of a guy. But um anyway, he's uh he likes to live life on the wild side, I think, and he always has. Um and that's, you know, part of what everyone expects of him and it's part of his charm and um cracks us all up. So anyway while I was tipping my head looking up, he was so close. He was flying the helicopter with his friend, another person I know. Um, and he was smiling at me and waving at me. And I was just shaking my head like, oh, he's doing something crazy. I, I can just tell he's going to do something crazy. He's so close to those other cars that he's going to hit one. He's just acting like a wild man. And I, I was just looking at him in disbelief, like, really? Are you, you're going to play a prank now. So when I was looking at this helicopter, he was, like I said, so close that I could make out his facial expressions and everything. And I was like, wow, okay. But as wild and crazy as he is, uh, I trust him to not crash into us. I know that sounds odd, even though I've never been in a helicopter with him. So anyway, the helicopter itself, and the only reason I have this picture up is it was really, really boxy and it only had a single blade, but it was maroon colored and it had this super slick gloss to it so it was really really boxy way more boxy than this is right here and I kept thinking look at all the angles on that where did he get that new helicopter that's amazing and um as he's joking around I just thought wow I've never seen anything like that and you know and it's weird because maroon is my husband's favorite color which is odd but um so anyway, he eventually flies away, and I had said to my husband, that he's just being crazy. What is he doing? And so um, he flew away, and I didn't think anything of it, and the dream was over. <clears throat> and I saw him, I don't know, a couple days after that. And I had said, hey, I had the weirdest dream about you. And he just laughed, and he kind of, you know, listened to what I had to say. and was like, ah, whatever. And so then he went away on vacation and he was gone for like maybe two weeks, I think. I don't know. And, um, of course he went to some place with a beach. So when he came back and we were slow, one of the times we were slow and he'd come back, I said, Oh, ooh, I want to see the pictures from your vacation. So, um, I work as a bartender. So I had time. He, he pulled out his phone and he's like, I got pictures of this and pictures of that. And he was going through and showing me everything. And then as he was scrolling through, he was showing me pictures from his actual house down the road, um, houses he was building because he does construction work, and his animals, which he doesn't have any kids or anything. So, he, you know, I got the whole, I got to see everything. So he was showing me all of his pictures. And he says, oh, yeah, I got this car, and here's my garage. And he has a big garage because he likes, he he has a few nice cars and he keeps them in a big garage and um, I actually didn't even know that until right around that time I figured out that he had a couple nice cars and and he does he he has a Tesla and most of the town has gotten a ride in it it's pretty cool um, but anyway so 
as he's flipping through and he gets to the garage, and I just want to say this again, I know that he flies helicopters and has owned helicopters, and I knew that he sold his helicopter a few months before that, like maybe even the summer before. It's hard to remember, but a lot was going on for me, so I don't really recall exactly when. So he gets to the garage, and he shows me a couple cars, and I look in the picture, and there is in the picture the body of a maroon helicopter, and it wasn't boxy. It was like a regular, um, and it wasn't glossy. It was like... Uh, you know, just plain maroon, not a high sheen to it, but it was just the body. Like he took all the engine parts and the rotor off and it was just in his garage. And I thought, yeah, I was like, I said, Hey, I, I thought you sold your helicopter. He goes, Oh yeah, yeah, I did. I, you know, I just have that one for whatever. And, and I just said, yeah, but it's the same color as the one I told you about in the dream. That's really weird. I didn't even know you still had one. So I just thought that was odd. And the only reason I bring it up is not, oh, that dream came true. It's a little tiny detail of something I had no idea about. I'd never even seen one of his helicopters to even know what color it would be. So here I am thinking I'm having this random dream. And then, you know, when I sat down with him, and that was the 8th of April of 2016. It was a Friday night. And he was showing me pictures, and we were really, really slow in the restaurant. So I had no idea that I was even going to see that, let alone that he even had any helicopter or anything that he hadn't sold. So I just thought that was a weird little, hey, hey, wake up to me, like pay attention, like some other dreams that I've had. So that was the first one, but I didn't realize until April that a little piece of that was partially true. And it may not mean anything to you, but like I said, to me, that's just a little sign saying, hey, pay attention, because it wasn't the first, it was the first dream I had, but I didn't find out until later that a little piece of it was true. Other dreams I had, pieces of it came true before I discovered this, so I just wanted to put that out there. I know it's a little thing, it might be insignificant to you, but I just think it's, I don't know, interesting. <laughs>